everyone welcome back to another vlog i know this one's a little bit late i said i would do another ramadan vlog but now it's way past ramadan probably at the time that i'm uploading this however i have lots of content that i pre-recorded it's me cooking one of our favorite recipes spicy shrimp that is just mwah. and it's probably going to be a lot of me decluttering organizing getting ready to move out of this apartment and just snippets here and there so i apologize if a little bit all over the place but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless so let's just get to it now what I'm about to show you might seem very strange but this is something that I do on most mornings so normally I have leftover coffee in my pot and I take my watering can and I pour it into the watering can normally it's about I don't know one part coffee and then I'm gonna fill it up with like at least three parts water and then I go around and look at every plant who could use a little bit of who would use a little bit of a morning coffee and for some reason it works so this is what i do on most mornings um and yeah i saw it like last year on tiktok or something and i was like that's weird but then i started trying it been doing it ever since and nobody has died and everyone's kind of happy i mean look at this guy over here hi hello who's this i think everybody who owns a plant gets like super excited when a new leaf comes out especially this one he hasn't had a new one in a very long time so this makes me very excited so there's this really embarrassing thing about me that a lot of you guys already know um if there's a sale and there's something that i really like i'm usually like hmm good deal give me five well in this case it wasn't just give me five it was oh give me 17 17 of the same ikea fake plant that i don't even particularly love like i don't know what the idea was this like i'm gonna decorate the entire balcony with it or like where was my mind going but the reality is i just went to the balcony i went to all the rooms i went to all the bathrooms and i collected all of these plants and i counted them and they're 17. ha huh? why 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 i don't know but good news i posted about this crazy thing on instagram as well and somebody dm'd me that she really wants them for her balcony so yay for reusing and it takes a huge pressure off me because someone's just gonna come and pick them up and someone else can be happy and decorate their balcony with 17 little plants so yay we have now made it to the kitchen floor and let me just make a dramatic entrance over here Ooh, what is this completely unorganized, terrible cabinet full of things I have not used in ages and probably do not need in my life? Eileen, oh, Eileen, Eileen. So this is our next project. I'm going to sit here until it's done. I'm going to declutter, see what I can give away to people who would need it more than me, uh, what needs to be thrown away, and what's going to come with me to the new place. So let's do that very much fun this is exactly how i wanted to spend my day today but you know what it needs to be done and i don't want to take any extra clutter to the new place so it's good fantastic <laughs> there's an entire box full of lids yet there are no containers to put the lids on <laughs> but here was my attempt at being organized i guess when we um moved into the apartment fantastic Fantastic. If I'm not sure, it's nice. I mean, it's not bad. But if I haven't used it, it deserves a better home. Deserves a better home. need these like they're these huge like salad bowls but if they're in the back of the cabinet and i haven't seen them for years and i have not used them then i think it's best to go with my initial instinct eileen you do not need them so that section is done i think we did pretty well so let me just show you um now i have just these things over here so this is not like my final organization or anything but i feel like we decluttered very well over here so we can close one cabinet and then what it's like to be me i have my juicer in here and i was just checking in the bag has my juicer and then oi hi hey thumbs like surfing glasses what are you doing here great why are they with my 
Juicer. Why are they with my juicer? So far, everything that you see over here, I already found somebody who will want to take all of it. So I put the plates and there's like a little tea set over here and like a cake stand. Uh, I just put it out and I was wondering what to do. And then one of you guys DM'd me on Instagram saying that you have like a university sale where everything's gonna go to charity. So it's the perfect, perfect thing. Um, gonna wrap this up leave it downstairs so she can pick it up and yeah even everything in the kitchen got messages from a few people and just gonna uh, put it together so I'm glad to know that they're gonna go to new homes happy homes and to people who actually need it so that's so good remember when I had like an obsession with buying different shaped like pots and vases and I just kept coloring them and painting them well now they're going to a charity sale along with some dishes along with some PR packages of cosmetics and some other things. So, more decluttering. Currently, I am staring at this. This, I gathered all the makeup that I own from every drawer, every cupboard, every everything. And as you can see inside the makeup desk is really dirty. So I'm going to use my Dyson to clean this up. And then let me just show you. I got these like clear um, organizing little thingies. I'm gonna put them inside the desk and I think it's gonna help me keep organized because I guess you, you can tell by now that that's something I struggle with. So I thought this would really help me out. But first of all, I am going to clean the inside of the makeup table and then just organize this mess over here. It fit here perfectly. So I think this is gonna help me organize my life a lot better. I'm actually surprised at how well it fit um, it was a little bit of playing around, but like the whole space is covered and now I can hopefully get organized Okay, are you ready? I feel like a new woman Ta-da! Oh my god It's like a whole transformation! I am so excited I am nothing if uh, not proud of myself If I do a good job, I acknowledge it, I give myself a little pat on the back <laughs> This is probably other people's like norm but for me, oh, this is so exciting. This is so satisfying. I think, I think Marie Kondo would be proud. No, no. Ah! Organizing your makeup cupboard is probably not what they meant when they said, it's better if you already start packing. Uh, but I just feel so victorious, so put together. I feel I talk so weird because I have my aligners in my teeth, which I usually never do. So it's cooking time, but I know that all of the stuff that I'm gonna do is gonna take me some prep time and I'm lazy to just stand in the kitchen. So I want to sit down and watch something on YouTube at the same time. I am going to cut up the potatoes and then I'm going to make our favorite mango salsa and um, after that only am I going to enter the kitchen. So for the salsa, you're going to need some fresh coriander and some purple onion and then some lime and of course the star of the show, the mango. I like using the thai mangoes just because I feel they're easier to cut and I get the meat out much better. Uh, but you can use any kind of mango as long as it's not too soft because it's, if it's too sweet, it won't taste nice. And obviously you don't want it to be like raw, but like something in between, not too soft to the touch and not, not like too hard. So I just transferred the potatoes into the air fryer for about 10 minutes or so and only then do I add the salt because otherwise it makes it like kind of soggy. Um, yeah, so in it goes. And now we're going to prepare the star of the show, the shrimp. So I 
um, made this dish like, I don't know, hundreds of times. And recently I discovered the flavor and just the whole experience is much better if you use a cast iron. So I found this one from like Lulu, a local supermarket over here. And it's kind of like, I don't know, it takes in the flavor and it gives it a little bit of that like, like bur burny, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but the result does come out much better than with a regular pan. So I would recommend doing it with something like this. And for the spices, we are going to be needing, well, first of all, uh, organic or whatever, good quality olive oil, uh, chili powder, paprika powder, uh, lots and lots of lemon or lime, and salt. And it's gonna be amazing. I think this is one of my signature dishes. This is one of the best things ever. I could make this in my sleep. This is one of those like you yes. you can't go wrong, but it's so good. Someone actually so good. messaged me. I love the way you hype up your food. <laughs> like, no, it's so good. We always say like our no, food is so good. It amazing. is so good. So now let's just put it here. Yes. And it's just yum. We have our air fried potato, the star of the show. Oh. This is looks fancy, but it's only here because I had leftovers. And then there's coleslaw, and then there's mango. That looks good. Okay. I should be a hit, like a, a, a food stylist. You? Yes. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. I want a better view. Yes. Should be a food stylist. That looks good. That okay, looks taste good. test. Mm. Mm. Doesn't seem like it's great. It seems like you're in pain. It's so good. <laughs> what pain? Why you? I don't know. Your it's face so is hurting. Good. Is it good? Is it good? Good? Mm. Is it better than takeout? Take what? Takeout? Like takeaway food? You can't find this anywhere. I know. This is so good. I should have my restaurant. Mm -hmm. Haytham thinks I should have a restaurant with my like signature dishes, three or four of them, and then not serve anything else. And if you know anything, anything about me, mine, of course, has to have sour cream. We have to tell you about this. We, I, I, maybe it's been around for ages, but we discovered it like a month ago. This is Japanese mayo. Yes. QP or something. Yeah. It's so good and so much so better good. than the regular mayo. Have our prayer station ready for the night. <laughs> Chair for me. So in Tarawih, I, uh, I sit because I get tired quickly. Then like Haytham's random dumbbell in the middle of the room. And then I love putting on some essential oils. It just makes the room smell so nice. I just uh, ordered a new one, uh, a new... Uh, essential oil diffuser that is gonna look so cute once it arrives I can't wait to share it so I'll probably keep this one in the bedroom and then uh, I got a little bit of a bigger one for like the kitchen and living room it just smells so nice waiting for Haytham to wrap it up and then we're gonna start our night prayers people are super stressed out about the fact that I haven't like packed everything and it just looks like we still are planning to live here for a long time um, but yeah that's the blessing of getting the moving company that we got um, they will literally I don't know how just take the room as is and put it back as is so it's so beneficial and because we're moving five minutes away from where we currently are so that will be super helpful instead of having to stress out about putting everything into a box and then not knowing which box and then dealing with boxes for ages in one or two days they just copy paste <laughs> everything that's here so that's super useful and then whatever is just obviously my personal stuff i pack it and um, put it in a box that i wouldn't want them to see or touch but yeah Last prayers in this room over here. It's moving day! Um, I don't know why I said that with so much excitement because 
I'm not excited. Uh, so I still have to wrap up the bedroom. You can see all the chaos around me. And I need to get inside this bed because it lifts up and there's things in there that I don't even know. Time to say goodbye to this space. Done. This took about, I want to say 45 minutes. I can't believe it. Everything is finished here. We're taking everything outside. And then we have Pilvi over here who's overseeing. What are we going to do about you, little guy? What are we going to do about you? The movers have been here for a couple of hours now. So this is the nursery. Almost all wrapped up. And oh no, all my, they've already packed the bathroom. I didn't know that all my facial creams were there. I have no moisturizer then for tonight. <clears throat> Great. I don't have any clothes. It <laughs> doesn't have clothes. I don't have moisturizer. They moved my stuff. They moved all my skincare. I don't have clothes. <laughs> Do I don't have cream. Because we're staying here tonight. Yeah. We're going to have to find cream and t-shirts. So living room is looking like this almost everything is gone and they are being so thorough like wrapping everything everywhere bubble wrapping everything they packed up the entire kitchen <clears throat> um this is what the kitchen looks like so it's been honestly a huge huge lifesaver and a blessing because i'm in my third trimester and obviously even if i wanted to i couldn't lift um or do anything strenuous so this is just the perfect solution we're still gonna sleep here tonight and have iftar at home tonight and i thought that the food in the fridge would be the last thing to go tomorrow morning but i just opened it up and it's empty <laughs> oh no okay i'm gonna have to order uh, but yeah, other than that, like I can't stress what a huge lifesaver it is. Honestly, I, I never even knew there was an option to pack everything and then they're gonna unpack everything in the new place as well. So it's just, I have to organize obviously and tell them where everything goes, etc. But they take care of it from A to Z. So huge blessing. And yeah, slowly, slowly, it's taking us two full days. Whew, we started today. 8.30 in the morning, now it's 6.05, so probably two minutes until iftar time. Haytham needs to eat. We're gonna figure out how we're gonna eat the food or where. So it might have been the end of Ramadan, but we're gonna find out in a couple of hours. But everybody seems to think that Ramadan this year is 30 days, not 29. So that's kind of what we're going with. We still think that we have one day, one more night of prayers. Um, <laughs> so I found some like old balcony furniture and I designed it in the middle of the what used to be the dining room and Haytham's trying to figure out if the movers bubble wrap would work as a seat cover because they're super 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 dusty can you hear the echo because everything's empty ah oh ah Try to sit on it. <laughs> You're gonna make noise. Wow. This is our iftar table for tonight. We have a balcony seating from IKEA featuring bubble wrap, some paper, and some burgers. How's your iftar? Ooh la la. You want to close the curtains because maybe somebody will see me? See what exactly? <laughs> no, maybe I look a little bit foxy and somebody is gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the way you look? <laughs> what do I look see? like? <laughs> what exactly are they gonna see? <laughs> show them. Yeah, let me show you how you look. <laughs> this is the foxy. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
right? Mm -hmm. Bismillah. Ordered some food for all the great guys that helped us move today. We're a lot, we're a big group and a loud group. Good morning everybody, it's day two of moving day and I don't know if you can see but I am exhausted. Um, honestly I didn't do that much because the moving company was so helpful but by the end of the day my feet were swollen, I just needed to keep them up and but we went on to like 1am so now it's 9am, we have one more room to go in the apartment and then everything to unpack in the new place. There is Haytham coming back from the mosque and with a roof on his head. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing it's hot. It's probably like 40 degrees Celsius. You see me? Hi. Hi. This is probably the only pop of color that is staying. This is, I think Haytham got it for me that when we are fanning Egypt somewhere, sometime ever, football match or whatever, then we have matching shirts. I'm about to make the bed and I just wanna take a moment to honor this product. So last pregnancy, I never got a pregnancy pillow. And this time around, I was like, okay, let me try it because all pregnant women are like raving about it. When it arrived, honestly, I didn't get it. I was like, okay. But now I cannot live without this thing. And honestly, like my husband loves it as much as me. So he always makes me sleep on this side just so he can hold this side but it's just, it's magnificent. Like even, I think I'll use it after pregnancy. It's just, it's like all around you and it comforts you and it's, it's just, it's so, I don't know how I survived the last one without having it. Why are you making the bed? We're moving. Ah, for the Instagram tap tap, <laughs> yeah. right? For the cute, for the cute photo. Okay, so in the middle of the move, you leave everything and you're just gonna make the bed so that it looks good so that you can have a tap tap to satisfy the Instagram fam. It's the life of an Instagram. Yeah. So, it's almost sunset. This is, I don't know why I always do that. It's almost sunset. I don't have a watch in my hand. It's almost sunset and uh, this is my last time probably in this apartment. It's completely empty. Everything's been emptied out. There's like two boxes there of the old curtains that the owner had before he gave us the apartment. I have to insert the clip over here what the apartment looked like when we moved in. It was, you can judge for yourself. I know a lot of you who are messaging me like, how are you not emotional? You put so much effort into the place. You decorated everything. You did all this stuff. But I enjoy that. Like, I love that part. Like, when I was, we were looking for a new place, that was the one thing that made me excited. I was like, oh my god, I get to decorate a new place. So that's the fun part for me. So I'm ready to close this chapter. Alhamdulillah, I'm not attached. So yeah, this is the last you're gonna see of this place. And it was good times, good times. Got me through a lot of rough times in this place and there was a lot of good times in this place. And now it's time to move on. I'm sorry if there's a bit of an echo because everything's empty, but I just want to wrap up this vlog saying that I'm so sad to see Ramadan go. In the past, I know I've had a couple of Ramadans where I was kind of like relieved that the month is over and that's a clear warning sign for me that I did something wrong. I was not maximizing the month that was pushing myself too hard and I definitely didn't do it right. So that's a little bit scary, but I know also there's other people out there that have felt the same, so I just wanted to put it out there. Um, I think you know you've had a good Ramadan if you have this feeling of peace and this feeling of you want to continue your good deeds in the rest of the year and in the rest of your life. So I read from a book somewhere that from every Ramadan try to take something to the rest of the year. So whether it's an extra prayer, maybe you learned a new chapter from the Quran, maybe you want to be more regular in charity, maybe set up a regular payment, maybe um, like you take an oath to be kinder to your parents or like whatever it is something that you nurtured in Ramadan and something that you did extra because obviously we all do a lot of extra good deeds and worship in Ramadan don't let it end like as soon as the Eid starts and the month is over consciously think what can be something that I'll take to the rest of the year and hopefully of course the rest of our lives so um, I thought that was a really great piece of advice 
and at the same time I read from a book a couple of days ago that the true way to assess if your Ramadan was like fruitful or not was to see what kind of person are you one week or two weeks after Ramadan finished did you completely go back to your old ways or did you still try to you know be better maybe not you know whatever i don't know everybody's different i don't want to start giving examples because everybody's in a completely different place in their journey and their faith and everything but just for your own self like god knows your intentions god knows your heart and you do as well so just i hope as a community we're always able to be kinder to be better and uh, that the rest of the year will be good for us as well. I hope everybody had an amazing Ramadan, and if you didn't, inshallah, we live to see another one. But Ramadan is not the only time that you can nourish the good in you. You can wake up every single day, it's a new sunrise, every day is a new day, and just if you take one step towards God, you're golden. He knows what you're doing, he knows what you're feeling, he knows what you're going through, so may we all collectively just try to be better. And that brings me to my next point, Palestine. Um, it's, it's been a rough couple of weeks. I stopped posting completely on my Instagram, my usual content, just out of respect, out of being overwhelmed, out of being emotional, and only focusing on the cause because it's, it's, it's mind blowing. How can we live in the 21st century and this is happening? All of our hearts are hurting. So now even that we end Ramadan and we start Eid, we, we, we celebrate with a heavy heart because our brothers and sisters around the world are going through such a hard time, especially now that I'm moving houses and moving to a new place. Um, I'm just so grateful for things that we, most of us probably who are watching this video who are on this space consider basic human rights or ba basic things, having a home, having a family, having security, having peace, having safety. And there's part of our community who doesn't have that. And you know Muslims are like one body, so if one part hurts, everybody hurts. And we're all just hurting, even if we're smiling on the outside all of us on the inside we are suffering um a lot of people are saying you know don't just tell people to pray but i think we also forget the power of prayer because like it's it's the strongest tool that we have it's the strongest weapon that we have if we collectively turn to god and we ask him to just give these people justice and mercy and grant them the highest levels of heaven and grant them per perseverance, grant them strength to endure. They are the strongest people. They are teaching us so much. Um, our strength is like minute compared to what their strength is like. They are the ones teaching us. Um, and I just pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray for them to find peace and security and for them to just have the rights that they deserve um, and I hope we all continue to keep the oppressed in our prayers. So I think one thing, especially out of this Ramadan, maybe that we can all collectively do, uh, you can consider it as your good deed or just something extra, is to keep the community in our prayers. Um, I think that's something that not a lot of people do. I definitely forget that sometimes. Uh, but to always pray for our community, not just for ourselves, not just for the immediate people around us like our parents and our friends, but extend and expand. Pray for our brothers and sisters all around the world. And uh, I think I mentioned this in a vlog earlier that every time you pray for someone else, the angels also pray the same upon you. So it's just, it's collective goodness. So may we always keep everybody in our community, in our prayers, and at the same time, keep raising awareness, using our voice and doing whatever we can to support. If you know any good donation pages or any legit resource, please comment it below. And um, yeah, I'm wishing peace and happiness on every one of you and everyone around the world. So I think that probably also brings me to the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And uh, I'm probably gonna upload this way later than I should, but I'm just a little bit overwhelmed with everything that's happening right now. By the time I've edited it, edited it it's probably already ramadan has passed and the eid has passed but i hope you find something in this vlog anyway um that you like i wish you nothing but the best i'll see you in my next vlog inshallah probably at the new place assalamu alaikum love you all bye